Hi everyone. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Welcome back to the Learn Turkish the Easy Way channel. Today we'll cover the future tense in Turkish language. We have already covered multiple tenses so far, as you probably uh, follow from the previous classes. And uh, we, we basically have uh, five tenses in Turkish language. So far we already covered simple present tense, present continuous tense, simple past tense, reported past tense, and now today we will cover the last tense, which is future tense, uh, after which we will start with our the, uh, with our moods, with uh, with four moods that are relevant to Turkish language, apart from the tenses. So we basically finished today the five tenses, and uh, starting from the next grammar live grammar class, we will continue with the moods, starting with a necessitative mood, necessitative mood. Uh, okay, so before we start, though, uh, I highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I also encourage you to participate in the comments by asking questions if something is not clear or after the live session is over, you can also address your uh, questions in the comment section below the video. I appreciate any feedback and any likes to the videos that you watch if you really like them. Alright, so let's start with our class. Uh, this was just repetition about the tenses, five tenses and four moods. Uh, let's also re, uh, kind of recall uh, the the issue with the infinitive case of the of the Turkish verbs. Uh, the, the infinitive form of Turkish verbs is basically always uh, ending with mak or mek. And whenever we design any tense in Turkish language, we always have to throw away to delete this mak or mek from, uh, as the infinitive part, and we use only the root of the verb to construct uh, verbs in different sentences. Just a, This is a, just a repetition because we have already seen this in the previous classes, but for those who are just new to this video, and this is just a reminder that all Turkish verbs end in mak or mek in the infinitive form, which has to be cut away before we make any tense, any tense uh, kind of affirmative, negative, interrogative forms of the tenses, different tenses. All right, let's see and uh, describe what we, how we construct future tense in Turkish language. Fe future tense in Turkish language is very, it's kind of a single. There is no uh, multiple versions of it. Okay, it's just very stable and fixed. So what do we have? We basically have two endings, two possible endings, which is acak or ecek. Okay, uh, you probably have seen from the simple present tense of Turkish language where we had six possible cases. Uh, compared to that one, this is very simple. It's very simple and straightforward, so we just have two versions, acak or ecek, okay? And uh, so we basically have the root, right, the verb root, without mak, mak or mek. Then we add the ending acak or ecek, and then we add the personal ending, depending on which person you want to represent. But of course, this is a general rule. Let's look at specificities of how we add or how we decide whether it will be acak or ecek. For this, let's see uh, this picture as always. Uh, this is basically the general rule, and it's it's very simple again. There is just two variations uh, depending on whether the root of the verb ends in a consonant or a vowel. If the verb root, if the root of the verb, which means uh, the verb without mak or mek, right? If the verb root ends in a consonant, you look at the last vowel. Okay, so if the last vowel is a, u, or u, you will definitely add ajak, like kalmak, kalajak, koymak, koyajak, kırmak, kıracak, bulmak, bulajak. Okay, and of course this is the third person singular, like ajak, koyajak, kalajak. These are all the third person singular, and that is used as the base for all other uh, forms. However, if in the if in the verb root that ends in a consonant, the last vowel is a e o u, then we add a jack. Look at the examples: vermek, verecek, ölmek, ölecek, girmek, girecek, gülmek, gülecek. Okay. There is also a second possibility where where the root of the verb ends in a vowel. Then what what we have basically is the, everything is sa same. Uh, the only difference is that we add uh, a fusion letter, yeah, 
in between, okay? Fusion leather, yeah, and everything is same. So look at the last wobble, uh, uh, uh, uh, requires Y, Ajak, right? Yajak. And A, E, U, uh, U uh, requires Yajak. So look at the examples, Aramak, it is Ara, right? The root is Ara, therefore it will be Arayajak. Ajimak, the root is Aj, and therefore the future tense will be Ajayajak. Okumak, the root is Oku, and then it will be Okuyajak. Korumak, the root is Koru, ending in vowel, therefore the future tense will be Koruyajak. So you see in all these cases we have a fusion letter Ye in between because of the last vowel uh, that, that really has to be combined with the other vowel in the ending. That's why we use the fusion letter Ye to combine two vowels to separate them. And for the AEUU, examples here, Islemek is Isle, right? The root is Isle, therefore it will be Isleyecek. For Demek, the verb is De, the, the, the verb root is De, and it will be Diecek. There is also kind of a, a modification of the letter E, right? That's, that's among the exceptions in Turkish irregularity in Turkish verbs. So De becomes D, Diecek. There are not many so, so, so uh, kind of a, such irregularities, okay? But still, this is one of the irregular verbs where de is changing to d, d ejek. For the third example here, yurumek, it ends in yuru, right? It's it's wobbled. It will be yuruyecek. And the last one is surumek, which is to drag, ends in suru, which is wobble, which will be therefore suruyecek, okay? So this is basically the rule. We have just two, two kind of uh, variations here, whether the verb root ends in a consonant or a vowel, and then we have the stable things. For a, u, o, u, it will be ajak or yajak, and for a, e, o, u, it will be either ejek or yejek, depending on the last letter in the root of the verb, okay? So let's look, let's go back now and look at the affirmative case of uh, future tense. So basically we have what? Verb root, ajak, ajak, we decide which one depending on the last vowels, so the last letter in the in the root, and then the personal ending. So let's look at the first person singular. Yapacağım, seveceğim, bulacağım, öleceğim. Second person singular. Yapacaksın, sen yapacaksın. Seveceksin, bulacaksın, and öleceksin. Third person singular is o yapacak, sevecek, bulacak, ölecek. And again, don't forget that uh, this one, this third person singular, uh, is always used as a base, right, for other verbs, uh, forms too, for other personal uh, forms too, because that's the shortest and the most fundamental kind of a short version of all the verbs of all the verbs across the pronouns different pronouns for the first person plural biz yapacağız seveceğiz bulacağız öleceğiz okay for the second person plural siz yapacaksınız seveceksiniz Bulacaksınız and öleceksiniz. And the third person plural, onlar yapacaklar, sevecekler, bulacaklar and ölecekler. There is one thing also to, to mention here for the first person singular and for the first person plural. You see that the K, letter K in the ending acak, right, is also transformed to yumuşak G. And the reason is very simple because it's it's it's called uh, consonant mutation. Uh, one of the lessons in the gra in my in my grammar uh, playlist also addresses this, so you can watch that video too. It is basically consonant mutation where we don't say yapacakım, but yapacağım. Okay, it, it it it's kind of a this consonant mutation is done to to soften the pronunciation because yapacakım is very kind of inappropriate for the for the tongue. 
it's very difficult for tongue to pronounce it to pronounce it therefore uh, ya pajam the first person uh, the the first plural uh, the decay letter k in the ending ajak ejek becomes yumushak ge therefore it is ya pajam sevecem bulacam ölecem or for the third for the plural ya pajaz sevecez bulacaz ölecez okay so don't forget this is just a consonant mutation to make the pronunciation easier and it's only valid for the first person singular and the first person plural okay let's now look at the negative how we make negative in future tense uh, for negative let me just I, didn't, I think I didn't open that one okay for negative we just add ma or me same as in the re reported past tense remember ma me negative that makes it negative and then we add everything else as we just mentioned in the affirmative form okay nothing else changes so the only thing that we change here is because our negative ma or me ends in vowel and ajak ejek also starts in vowel we have to put a fusion letter in between and here again uh, a fusion letter between two vowels is ye okay we, we, we add extra letter ye okay yapma yajam not yapma ajam but yapma yajam so we add ma me then the fusion letter ye then the ending ajak ejek that's the only difference and that's it so let's look at the examples in the first person plural ben yap mayajam also pay pay attention to the to the uh, emphasis okay intonation because in the affirmative it will be what yapajam right the the emphasis is on the last side of the word in the negative it is the first part of the word yap mayajam sev mayajam bulmayacağım ölmeyeceğim for the second person plural sorry singular it is sen yapmayacaksın sevmeyeceksin bulmayacaksın and ölmeyeceksin for the third person singular o yapmayacak sevmeyecek bulmayacak and ölmeyecek for the first person plural it is biz yapmayacağız, sevmeyeceğiz, bulmayacağız, and ölmeyeceğiz. Okay. Uh, and again, you see there is con constant mutation, right? Again, uh, K is transformed to yumuşak G in the first singular and first, plur first uh, plural. Second person plural, siz yapmayacaksınız sevmeyeceksiniz bulmayacaksınız and ölmeyeceksiniz and last onlar third person plural onlar yapmayacaklar sevmeyecekler bulmayacaklar and ölmeyecekler that is basically it for the negative let's look now at the interrogative how we ask question in future tense for interrogative it is similar to reported past tense again we use the root right the root uh, so then we add ajak ejek depending on the root and then what we have is the word question word mu mi why only mu mi and there is no mu mu because ajak ejek that's the part that ends there are only two possible threads right? ajak ejek and ajak always requires mu ejek always requires the question starting with me plus the personal ending and also as a note as a side note don't forget that in turkish word in turkish uh, in turkish language the question words mu mu mi and whatever you have as an extra after the verb they are always written separately they are written separately from the verb okay so what do we have here you see it is first of kind of a, the yapajak is basically the the root here the, the, the base here the fundament and then you change you only change the question word based on the person that's it so the first for the first singular ben 
Yapacak mıyım? Sevecek miyim? Bulacak mıyım? Ölecek miyim? For the second person singular, it is Yapacak mısın? Sevecek misin? Bulacak mısın? Ölecek misin? For the third person singular, it is Yap o. O yapacak mı? Sevecek mi? Bulacak mı? And ölecek mi? For the first plural, first person plural, biz yapacak mıyız? Sevecek miyiz? Bulacak mıyız? And ölecek miyiz? For the second person plural, it, it will be siz yapacak mısınız? Sevecek misiniz? Bulacak mısınız? And ölecek misiniz? And last, third person plural is onlar yapacaklar mı? Sevecekler mi? Bulacaklar mı? And ölecekler mi? That's interrogative. That is everything about interrogative. And let's now look at the negative interrogative. That's the last possibility, right? The fourth possible case. And that is basically very similar to to into the interrogative. The only thing we do is to make the, the first part negative, right? By adding ma or me together with the fusion letter ye, of course. Because ma, me is combining here with ajak, ecek. And we cannot have two vowels in between. We just add a fusion letter ye in between again to make it pronounced, kind of being pronounced easier. And then we add the question word together with the personal, uh, personal ending depending on the person. So, look at the first person singular ben yapmayacak mıyım, sevmeyecek miyim, bulmayacak mıyım, ölmeyecek miyim. Second singular person sen yapmayacak mısın, sevmeyecek misin, bulmayacak mısın, ölmeyecek misin. For the third person singular o yapmayacak mı, sevmeyecek mi, bulmayacak mı. Ölmeyecek mi? For the first person plural, biz yapmayacak mıyız? Sevmeyecek miyiz? Bulmayacak mıyız? And ölmeyecek miyiz? For the second plural, siz yapmayacak mısınız? Sevmeyecek misiniz? Bulmayacak mısınız? And ölmeyecek misiniz? And the last one, third person plural, onlar yapmayacaklar mı? Sevmeyecekler mi? Bulmayacaklar mı? And ölmeyecekler mi? That's the last uh, that we had to cover. So, negative interrogative. Now, uh, we are done with the kind of the, the grammar part. Okay, let's now look at a couple of examples uh, before we finish our lesson. By the way, if you have any question, you can address them. Okay, let me just open just a minute, just a second. Okay, let me open the our work pad. So let's look look at now a couple of examples in practice, okay? Let me write this one first. Eve beşte geleceğim. What will it mean? Eve means to house, right? To home. It, it, it has a dative case ending e. To eve, right? Beşte, beş means five. Beşte, at five. It is a locative case ending te. De, te, right? Da, de, ta, te. So, beşte, eve beşte geleceğim. Which means I'll come, come home or to home, right? In English, that's basically if we say home only, at Five. I'll come home at five. Now, before we continue with examples, let me note one thing. In Turkish, we don't have this distinction as in English when we whether it's whether we are saying I'll come or I am going to come. Okay. In in English, we have two versions. I'll uh, we have I will, and we have I am going to. So in Turkish, we don't have this distinction. It is only one tense. Okay. Kelecem and nothing else. I. So, gelecem here means both. 
I'll come or I am going to come. It doesn't matter. In English, uh, there is a difference, but in Turkish, we don't, we don't have this kind of a distinction or difference. Therefore, don't think that you have to translate it somehow to Turkish in a different way. I am going to come or I'll come are same in Turkish language. They are just pronounced or kind of, uh, they are just expressed in the same way. Uh, let's look at another example. Bugün okula gidecek misin? Okay. Bugün okula gidecek misin? Bugün okula gidecek misin? Well, which means basically that okula here is a dative case with the ending a, e, right? Okula. And everything else is just known. So, will you go to school or are you going to school to go to school today? Gitmek is to, to go, right? Basically, will you go to school today? Bugün okula gidecek misin? So, gidecek misin? You see, we, we add ecek because the vowel, the last vowel is e in the root, right? And it doesn't end, and the root doesn't end in the vowel. Therefore, we don't have to add the fusion letter ye. So, gidecek misin? What about other examples? Let's make it a negative interrogative. İşe gitmeyecek misin? What will be it? Won't you, right? Will you not? Will you not go to school? Sorry, to work, not to school, to work. Will you not go to, to work? İşe is a dative case, right? İşe, işe gitmeyecek misin? Let me just... Okay. İşe gitmeyecek misin? Will you not go to school? As you see, there is what? There is a Y, Y here, right? We added letter, fusion letter Y to combine the negative ME plus the future tense ECEK. Git ME ECEK, which has to be combined with the fusion letter Y. Git ME ECEK misin? And we also have personal pronoun, right? Sen, it means you, singular. Uh, i̇şe gitmeyecek misin? If it was i̇şe gitmeyecek misiniz, then it will be you plural, right? You plural or respect, respective formal way of addressing somebody. But here it is, uh, basically let's make it misin. İşe gitmeyecek misin? Will you not go to work? Let's look at another example. Sana bisiklet alacağım. I'll buy you a, a bicycle. Okay. I'll buy you. Sorry. I'll buy you a bicycle. I'll buy here is almak. Almak is has multiple meanings to take to buy. So in this context, it is to buy. Okay. Almak. Almak ends in al, right? Le, which is consonant, and it is only a. The last vowel, so therefore, almak will require acak, ending acak, alaca, um. The last letter k is transformed, uh, it is consonant mutation, becomes yumushagge, right? This letter here, yumushagge, it is consonant mutation rule. Alacağım, we don't say alacakım. Sana bisiklet alacağım. I'll buy you a bicycle. Let's look at another example. Negative example. Bu yıl tatile gitmeyeceğiz. Bu yıl tatile gitmeyeceğiz. Gitmek, right, is to go. Gitmek, and it was a bow anyway. Uh, so, it is negative. Gitme, we have to add negative. Me, ma, me, which is here. Me, because the git is the soft vowel e, right? Gitme, and we also add what? Ye, fusion letter ye in between, between the negative and the ending ecek and also we have mutation here right consonant mutation here k letter k is also mutated and tr uh, transformed to to yumuşak g okay gitme ye c is we add ye don't forget in between and we mutate the last letter k because it's first single first person plural okay so will tatil tatil means a vacation holiday Tatile means a dative case. We add the ending e, dative case, right? 
will not will not go to a, uh, on holiday or to hol will not go on vacation okay that's the English version of saying that will not go on vacation this year okay tatile gitmeyeceğiz bu yıl tatile gitmeyeceğiz will not go on vacation this year or will not have vacation, whatever the English version is a more appropriate one. Uh, what about the next one? Next example. Yeni yılı kutlayacak mısınız? This is a question, interrogative, right? So we have here, you see, fusion letter Y in between again. Let me just cancel this one. So again, we have here fusion letter Y because uh, the, the verb root kutlamak is uh, is what it, it it ends in vowel a kutla kutlamak kutla and therefore when you add ajak there are two vowels in between you have to separate them by fusion letter ye therefore it is kutla ajak not kutla ajak but kutlayacak okay yeni yılı kutlayacak mısınız kutlamak is to celebrate so will you celebrate new year okay will you celebrate the new year question mark it's an interrogative therefore it's question mark will you celebrate the new year okay. let's have another a couple of more examples yarın akşam futbol oynayacağım so what do we have here yarın tomorrow akşam to, uh, evening right Tomorrow evening, football, soccer or football. Oynamak is to play, and oynamak is ends in what? In a, right? When you have the root, it is a oyna, and but you add ajak, which is person singular, right? You have to add letter fusion letter in between, which is ye. Yarın akşam futbol oynayacağım. I'll play. Play football or soccer tomorrow evening or night tomorrow evening tomorrow night that's the American version of saying I play football tomorrow evening tomorrow night I'll play so oynayacağım means I'll play if you want to say you will play singular yarın akşam football oynayacaksın right and again don't forget the fusion letter ye in between Another example, negative one, senle bir daha konuşmayacağım. Senle means with you, right? Because la la here at the end is with, means with. Senle, with you, bir daha, again, konuşmayacağım. Konuşmak is to speak, to talk, right? To speak, to talk with. Konuşmak and konuşmak, uh, konuş ends in what? It's a... Wow, it's a consonant. Then we add ma, me, right? It, it should be ma because the, the, the u, the last vowel u here is a hard vowel. So konuş, ma. Then we add, cons, uh, sorry, uh, we add the fusion letter ye in between. Then we have ajak, right? Ajağım. It's because uh, it's about me. It, we have to mutate this letter k to Yumuşakge, that's the first person singular. So konuşmayacağım. Let's combine them all again back. Konuşmayacağım. Senle bir daha konuşmayacağım. I'll not talk to you again. Or with you, okay? I'll not... Sorry, I'll not... Or I won't, you can... I won't, let's make it won't, okay, I won't speak with you again, I won't speak with you again, okay, uh, let me make it also, we won't, okay, here, we won't, we won't go on vacation, so I won't speak with you again, senle bir daha konuşmayacağım, this one, the last example, I won't speak with you again. I will not speak with you again. So, konuşmayacağım means I will not. 
So that's basically it together with the examples, a couple of examples. Uh, I hope it is clear. If you have any questions, please leave them under the video in the comments section. If you want any topic to be addressed uh, in further future grammar lessons, also mention them in the comments section below. Uh, I, encourage, I highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you want to get further notifications about the future videos. And I also appreciate any comments, positive feedbacks or likes to the videos, uh, which is very much appreciated. Uh, that's it for today. So we have covered future tense in this, in this lesson. Uh, in the next lessons, we will start covering the other four, four moods. Remember the moods? Uh, let me just open that one. We'll start with discussion of the four moods. Okay. Hi Fabiola, I'm about to finish, so that's fine. You can watch it uh, and provide your comments, okay? So we will start with the next lesson, we will start with the subjunctive moods, with the moods, with the four moods, necessitative mood, conditional mood, optative mood, and imperative mood. And how we use them, uh, when we use them, we will explain that. So our next lesson, uh, I, I have, uh, for the next lessons we will cover those, we we'll start, we'll start with the necessitative mood. That's fine Fabiola, that's okay. Uh, it's still, I mean, recorded anyway, so please address your questions in the comment section. Uh, and have, by the way, happy to see you back. Uh, it's Saturday night. I think people, many people are not live. Many people are not joining uh, because of having kind of a Saturday, this kind of a, maybe shopping day for many people, entertainment day. But anyway, so happy to see you. And enjoy the weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay, next Tuesday we'll start with the next lesson of necessitative mood. Salı günü görüşmek üzere. Hepiniz hoşça kalın arkadaşlar. Bye bye.